only assume because I get my songs going. Because you have the other thing of whenever your song is going, automatically everybody within 20 yards of you gets a credit rate of 2%. <clears throat> as long as the song is going. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I do believe we've restored Riggy's enthusiasm for the task. Now, if only I knew a little more about fighting Mont. Oh, you're an adventurer, aren't you? You should be in charge of the Link Pearl. Following controls can be used to navigate Egg Hunter Riggy. Default settings. A or move cursor left is move left. D or move cursor right is move right. Space bar or left click. Jump, double jump. Collect 15 or more eggs to win the game. Hitting obstacles or being struck by enemy attacks will cause you to drop eggs, so do your best to avoid any danger. A, D, space bar. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. So if you start moving the mouse, it takes over for the left and right controls. So it got a little wonky there. Okay. Oh, look at all these eggs. Well done, you two. Nice work, little one. I have to admit, I was wrong about you, and I'm sorry about the whole shooting you with an arrow thing as well. Riggy not angry. Riggy happy. Everyone happy. Here, you should take these eggs and deliver them to Nanota. She will be thrilled to hear you. We've tracked them down. Thank you. Hmm, I don't recall mentioning Nanota's name. Oh, well, you see, I'm a good friend of hers, and this isn't the first time I've helped out with an egg hunt. Suspicious. Ahem. Anyway, Riggy and I shall have another look around and see if we've missed any of those precious eggs. Very well, friends. Oops. That was curious. That Spriggan is an odd character, but it's the conjurer who makes my tail twitch. I suppose we have some good news for Nanota, at least, shall we? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. that seems kind of weird. Okay, where's the note at? Oh yeah, the amphitheater. Yeah, that was a Heaven's Word dungeon, so we have that gear was all way below what we have. <laughs> Nanota! Ah, there you are. I heard from our tracker friend that the eggs have been found. May I see them, please? Here's your eggs. Yes, this is one I decorated myself. Thank you so very much. Chili, look, we have our eggs back. Those hats. You can't take them seriously. That's wonderful. We must have searched everywhere. Wherever did you find them? 
in a spriggan nest, you say? So the culprit was a spriggan all along. Uh, no, it was McCody. I see you share my suspicions. You got it. There was a mastermind behind this entire affair. Isn't that right, Jilly? You might be this festival's organizers, but I suspect you planned the theft from the start. The conjurer who so conveniently appeared to heal Riggy. That was you. Clever girl. Yes, twas I who arranged the eggs to disappear, but it was not my intent to deceive or distress you. You see, I actually did have my prophetic dream this year, and the vision implied that I, if I hid the eggs myself, then the ensuing chain of events would lead to encounters both unexpected and wondrous. So everything that took place was an effort to recreate the details of your dream. No wonder you were so anxious to mend this brigand's hurts. I apologize for my tricky, but tell me, did you not enjoy meeting the charming Riggy, or the manner in which you recovered the lost eggs? Mini games are always fun. <laughs> That's the only way I can see it at it. Mini games are always fun. Speaking of which, there was a gift for you hiding inside one of the reclaimed treasures, a magical doll. Tis ever so adorable when they toddle along in your wake. Thanks. Ah yes, there is one more encounter we have yet to celebrate. Yours and mine. Leah Aliapo. Some few days ago, I was cleaning out a storage closet and came across an old journal. It belonged to my mother, Millie, a talented practitioner of the healing arts. In its pages, she made mention of her sister and the life her sibling led as a hunter in the depths of the Twelfth Wood. You can't mean... My aunt was said to have given birth to a single daughter. The girl grew to be quite a handful, plain-spoken and proud, with a knack for the bow. I think you know her name. So they're cousins? Well, I'll be a freaking second cousin. And a first cousin to you, it seems. Now that is an unexpected wonder. Aww. I thank you for your cooperation in this, Sokar, even if I was unaware of the surprise that would greet me this day. If you aren't too weary, might you be interested in helping me hide the eggs once more? You may have just witnessed you may just witness a few more special encounters. Sure. The Lalafells every time with the cheer on one leg makes me laugh. You've unlocked the egg hunter riggy minigame. Open the toy chest in any in room to take another run at this activity. Exit stage left. Okay, so use um, minions. Where is it? No, no, no. just an egg that pops out with a little gesture every now and then. Does it roll along after you? It does! <laughs> okay, let's put that away. Take this off my bar. Alright, that was pretty neat. Advocate. 
Hatching Tide Banner. Spriggan Chocolate by Tally Plus One. Small piece of bitter dark chocolate molded into the shape of a Spriggan. XP bonus 3%, duration 30 minutes. Duration can be expanded to 60 minutes by consuming multiple servings. And with Vitality 1. Okay. So that jumped up to 12 minutes. Oh, we were out in the ocean. Might as well go back out there and start doing more quests. So we're almost 65. Which is next... Which is the next quest for, uh... Next, uh, next bard quest. Alright, time it, uh... I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's go to Tamamizu. Tamamizu, I said it right. This isn't where we want to be. Come, chair. Let's go swimming. Let's ruin your upholstery! Okay, so we want to go this way. So I like that the balloons just kind of point you in the direction you need to go. Or give an indication that something is out in that direction. We want to go back to helping the princess. <coughs> The Ruby Princess. She's the only quest left here. Hey, Mender. Hello, Mender. Oh, we actually weren't all that far down. Kuranai! Two Princesses of Sui no Sato. So card, Master Imban has yet to arrive with the elixir, but we must not allow ourselves to grow impatient. He will come to us as soon as it is ready. The longer we wait, however, the more I worry about Hisui. Shuasai assures me she is doing well and that thanks to one of our own ancient remedies, her bones and muscles remain strong. Even though, I, even so, I feel compelled to confirm this with my own eyes. Let's go. Let us go to her. can't read today. Bird. Oh, she's at the bottom of the steps here. I'm having her brought from her room. It should not be much longer. Looking upon her, I am reminded of the Ruby Princess from the fairy tale. What causes you to continue sleeping, my friend? Initially, I had feared the void scent that possessed her had driven her soul from her body. Now I suspect Hisui's spirit has simply gone dormant. It is attempting to recuperate from the trauma it endured. Master Inbound's elixir will likely restore what vitality has been lost. Indeed, that is correct. Hey, turtle. Master Imban, I have brought the elixir. In the olden days, we would sprinkle this over the eggs that refused to hatch. It would serve to strengthen the soul of the cogent within. Sprinkle? Do you mean to say Hisui does not need to drink this remedy to recover? Drink it! There's no need for that. All we need to do is pour this over your friend here. I made plenty. The 
like fairy dust. <laughs> Poof. Awaken. Hisui. You are awake. Thank the Kami, you are finally awake. I am sorry for everything. Princess, I, I, what are you talking about? She doesn't remember anything. <clears throat> to think that you need to travel so far and overcome so many obstacles to save me, I know not how to thank you. Nay, tis I who must thank you. Think nothing of it, Princess, as your lady in waiting is my duty above all else to ensure that you are protected. Oh, Hisui, truly I am blessed to have you in my life. I think we're going to take our hat off. The girls, they are identical. I cannot for the life of me tell them apart. Indeed, there is a great resemblance. Master Shadow Mantle, now that her Lady Hisui has awakened, her Highness must return to the palace and resume her duties there at once. While I will ask that you say your farewells to her here, I do hope that it is not the last you will see of each other. I have watched her Highness blossom into an intelligent and capable young lady under your care. It has made me think that being sequestered in a castle is not the best way to raise our rulers. You have saved us in more ways than I can count, and taught you taught us so much. Siu no, Sui no Sado is forever changed because of you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. So it is here that our grand adventure to get there draws to a close. I, however, would like you would like to enjoy your company for just a bit longer. Please allow me to escort you to the gates. I think that's her way of telling me to get out. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. Get out of my city. I shall forever cherish my memories of our travels together. When I look back upon them, they will fill my heart with a serene happiness. You came from afar and braved the depths of the sea all so that you might rescue a sleeping princess. The story has a familiar ring to it, does it not? Indeed, and just as with the tale of the fisherman, they have someone somewhere who has recorded our story too. Sadly, this is where I must part ways with you. It is time for me to return to the palace. Farewell, Sokar. Farewell, Suino Sato, or rather, until next time. With me to take Highness, her highness place while she is away, I do not imagine it should be too hard for her to sneak out whenever she pleases. Even Shu Sai has difficulty telling us apart. I'm gonna have to redo this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo that. Oh, if I knew it was gonna be Sasha, I'd have quit. <laughs> I just waited for the next one. <laughs> Conjure pugilist marauder. Not a warrior yet. And me. No, it's white mage, not conjure.
You're the tank. You decide where we're going. Handle it. Good man. We all know what we're doing. Yeah. Ta-da! That way, on your right. There you go.
I don't really consider this like a boss. I mean, he is, but he's not. Dog. Is there another dog? I die, it's my own fault. Yeah. I'm gonna pull. But I think the tank is ready and just isn't there yet. One of those, like, well, it's my fault if I die, so because I pulled. Oh, so I found out the other day that sounds that I haven't been able to figure out forever is not actually one of my songs brocket. It's pulling aggro. <laughs> sound.
watching that. <clears throat> Can't get a cutscene because it's the first time here. Yep, whenever you're ready, brother. wasn't totally necessary. <laughs> Limit break in Sustachia. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't need those. <laughs> 